Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are looking at my official Halloween knives for 2022. Um, yeah, however that is. Okay, um, next weekend uh, most people will be having their Halloween parties and stuff like that. Um, we are going to have a party with other people, so I'm not sure what that will be or if it will be anything Halloween-y. So, I'm doing my knives now. Okay, these knives I will be using until the 31st, which is a Monday this year. Okay, so on Monday we'll most likely do nothing, so... Yes, it will either happen Saturday or Sunday. So if I make another video about Halloween, then we'll do all the awesome stuff and whatnot. But for now, I just want to show you the two knives. Now these two, I have been collecting Halloween looking knives on a theme for pretty much a year now. Okay, let's look at this one first. Well, you can already see it's a Rough Rider Black Widow. Now I love this thing. Uh, let me just get it out of its foam prison. Foam prison, let go. Okay, it's got this beautiful foam inlay, but it's super secure. Okay, now this is a trapper, a large trapper by Rough Rider. And then it's a beautiful knife. We have this etched spider over there, and there it says... I cannot see what that says. Anyway, so you see what that says. Oh, it's the two R's. Okay, we have the slanted R bolsters, pinches at the back, one ring, beautiful offstop, beautiful snap, rings on both sides, nickel, silver with brass liners, beautiful knife. Okay, and then of course, because it is a trapper, we also have this beautiful spy blade which has both the long pull and the match strike nail neck and then on this side it says black widow okay but the star of the show on this guy is definitely this look at the beautiful spider the black widow over there and then also the beautiful whatever synthetic with brass inlays and then the black that's a very good looking knife okay now i really really enjoy this clip point blade okay and then the other one is a ganzo now let me just get it out of its package i don't know why i left them in their packages i think i was just being lazy with a beautiful ganzo box but then going for the red and black spider theme ja, we have this beautiful guy Okay, so this is a big one. It's a nine and a half centimeter blade, which is, I don't know, very close to three and a half, three, whatever. It's on its way to four inch blade. Overall, this thing is eight and a half inches. So it's a good size knife, but it's assisted. Now, most people do not like assisted knives. Uh, well, I don't like assisted knives, but this thing is cool enough to make me like it. Do you see there on the back? It looks like it's shining. That's a paint job. Okay, and you can also feel the spider. Unfortunately, it's only tip down carry, but you can feel all of the spiders. This thing is red and black and shouting, take me to some or other Halloween party. Okay, so of course next Saturday I will be rocking this thing when I am going to my hopefully Halloween party. Like a, I don't know, more traditional Tanto blade shape. That's nice. Okay, now let's check these two. Okay, the Rough Rider is definitely a bit smaller than the Ganzo. But I dig both of them. Black Widow, Black Widow. Ta-da! Whole year, you've all been waiting for this. Why do you keep buying these Black Widow-inspired knives? 
because I wanted them for my Halloween things. Okay. Um, so when we are just chilling, we're going to be playing with that one. And when I go to my more classy Halloween things, <laughs> I will be playing with this one. Okay. That's ridiculous, I know. But um, I really enjoy, well, trappers. I like trappers. I know a lot of people don't like trappers, but I do like trappers. Trappers are cool. Okay, so I've got my big spay blade over here, which I like most. And then that off stop makes me happy. And then this assisted monster. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's like a lazy auto. Okay, so Black Widow, Black Widow. I hope you all enjoy your Sunday. Um, today was too hot. It's supposed to rain. I hope it rains. Um, we didn't really bry, but I'm going to show you my not really bry. Okay, and then it's going to be week again in a little while. So all of you, enjoy your week. Be productive. Do good things. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye. Okay, we have the small little bry going. Small little bry. Um, because we don't really have anything to bry today and we made spaghetti bolognese today so we don't really need to eat anything but brying is so much fun yeah it looks weird but it will burn now small bry big knife okay um i don't know what they're gonna do or talk about today we'll see now okay so what to bry when you don't really have anything to bry or you're not really hungry marshmallows of course and then I'm just going to put this on the fire because old smokehouse. Yeah. Time honored old smokehouse tradition of smoking imports a distinctive flavor to these meat products. Specifically packaged for ShopRite right checkers. And then it's smoked cheese and bacon sausages and it's not expensive. Well, you get only five of these things and they're not huge. But yes just something to put on the fire okay they're on the fire and that is looking quite nice okay awesome okay and these guys are done they look nice and fat and juicy and awesome so ladies and gentlemen Thank you very much for following along. Oh, and I can say ladies, because I have 13% of my viewers now that's ladies. So if you know a woman, uh, there's a 1 in 10 in 7 billion chance that she's watching this channel. <laughs> okay, goodbye.